a very cold morning. The car is packed, including my dressing gown and our bikes. And Alex has no idea where we're going and neither do you. He is such a sneaker. I was having a conversation with our landlady because she's dropped by because there's electricians in our house this weekend fixing in a extractor van. And um, when Alex was outside, she was like, oh, where are you going? Because I told her it was a secret. And um, she was telling me about that was, she'd been there and there was good bike rides around there. And then I came outside and I said, oh yeah, there's good bike rides where we're going. And then Alex was like, oh, where, where's that? I nearly said it. <laughs> and I was like, you cheek, like you can't. He's so sneaky. I nearly blurted it out. I'm not very good at keeping a secret. I've, I've, it started as we're doing something for your birthday weekend. And he had absolutely no idea <laughs> to him knowing kind of what we're doing. Well, I always figured we'd be going away somewhere. Well, I mean, it's like I knew we were going somewhere, and that's yeah. But this what, is what and, it started as. It started as you being like, "We're going away for the weekend," and you having absolutely no idea. To now knowing it's an hour and a half away, it's a holiday let, and well, yeah. I kind of figured that anyway. Okay. At the well, start, let's go. I haven't learned anything more since you've kind of first told me. So yeah. Well, you, let's let's get, well, get going because we're a bit late. I, I probably would have blurted it out. Like yeah, we're going now. So have you sort of start where we're going now? Yep. Where? Hastings. No. Tunbridge Wells. No. Dover. Nope. You're never gonna get us because it's in the like it's is it, not. Is it on the coast or not? Not telling you. Oh, well, okay. You'll have to find out. Car rides are normally made up of me having a really deep and meaningful chat with Alice, Alex, Alice, Alex sits there in silence and then goes yes occasionally. Huh? He gets exhausted by my DMCs, don't you? What? This is this is the reality. But um, I was talking about finding myself and I was wondering if you guys would like me to make a video on this on my main channel because I think this year has been a true year of me finding myself. I was lost there for a little while for various reasons to do with the way I ate, the way I exercised, um, the way I even made videos on YouTube, the way I looked at life. And I feel like 2018 <laughs> has been a, a truly a year of finding myself and I've learned a lot as a result. I think it's true of this age though, when you're this age, sometimes you you, you lose yourself, then you find yourself again, then you lose yourself again, and then you find yourself again. Um, it's quite an amazing thing. I'm having that feeling of like, I've really figured it, I figured it out in terms of like, knowing what makes me feel good and happy. So I was wondering if you'd be interested in a main channel video talking about that and why and the way I've done it. Yeah, let me know. Where are we, Alex? Cornwall. It looks like Cornwall. These roads. We, I just, we were just commenting on how the roads are. Like, it was like Falmouth, wasn't it? Yeah. All the hills around it. It looks pretty though, doesn't oh, it? Oh dear. I hate these roads. <laughs> well, this is bloody picturesque, isn't it? Like this one here, I think. Number one. Wait, just stop a sec. Okay, so it's not this house. We just run into the owner's husband. I guess he owns it too, I don't know. Oh yeah, there it is. Every place we come, there's always like an old farm building. Yeah. Wedding gates, look, there it is, is it? Oh, he said he could see the, yeah, the roof. top. Wooden gates, there we go, go through the wooden gates. Right, whoa. <laughs> so, here we are. Can I open my eyes? Oh, for goodness sake. Look, how cute is this? Oh my gosh. <gasps> the fire. It's so warm in here. Can you hear that? Listen. Oh. Oh my gosh. Should we give you a tour? No, I'm just gonna stay here. So this is the little entrance. Two cute little sofas and they've I've just spotted. They have rugs. Holiday cottages never seem to have rugs. What on earth are you doing? This table is so beautiful, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Look at these big seats. I love this table. It's so cottagey. There's a little thing here. Oh, that's unusual. They don't have an oven, but they've got a little... They don't have an actual oven, they've got an oven here. Um, ah. They've got a crock pot. Crock Look how cute. Oh. They've got yeah. another hob. Oh, top. Weird. Well, we've got a dishwasher, so... Yeah, we've got a dishwasher, that's good. Got a little TV. Plasma TV. Got all these games. Oh my gosh, we need to play yeah. these games. I love that they don't have a TV here, though, so it's like... Yeah, it's quite nice. Let's go through. No, go this way. Where are we? Toilet. Maybe you should, like, film me. It's maybe a bit better. No, film me. Come right. with you. Toilet. I just switched the light on. It wasn't on already. <laughs> I love how cottagey it is, and look how high the ceilings are. <gasps> There's a huge spider up there. Oh, so there is. <laughs> 
Nice little shower. Mm hmm. Go. And then this is our bedroom. Oh my god. Ooh. Look this is. This. Well, it's gone all blue. This is like the cutest thing ever, isn't this? Like, I've gone back in time. It's like it, yeah. <laughs> look at this wardrobe. Oh my god. And look at these curtains. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. Do you know what I so it's a thumbnail. <laughs> and then these, these like super old pictures. I love like these pictures. Oh, books as well. Books, books, books. I like the difference that it's on home. It's not a hot. It's not like a hotel. Yeah. Or something. Oh, they've got recycling. Mm. Utility. Oh my god! Look at all this utility space. Like for washing up. That's so handy. Another toilet. Look at the bath. <gasps> oh, I'm having a bath. Oh my gosh! You've got robes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Another little bedroom. There's only, I feel bad. They, I think for some reason they thought there was three of us, but there's only two of yeah, us. Yeah, that's, well, that's not your fault. You didn't say oh, three. They, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They can just leave them. Yeah. It's really bright in here. And come to see the best part this view. We'll show you properly outside in a second. You get around but the it's corner, you can see it. Unreal, more. the yeah. view. This is your bed? Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> Okay, come out. I'm joking. That's like what you, your parents have at their house. Oh yeah, we have an aerial picture as well. Because this is similar to my parents, because we have our, they have their house and then a holiday there attached, yeah. so it's a similar vibe. We're in that one. We can just go to bed right now next to this fire. Do you reckon we can move one of the beds in yeah, here? Yeah, just sleep in here next to the fire. Oh! Are you a happy bunny? I'm the happiest of bunnies. We need to go get lunch somewhere. Lunch? I'm going to Bring all the stuff in, yeah. Yeah. Do we bring... Lunch food, or are we going to go out? No, we'll go somewhere to get lunch, I think. It's weird because we ate, I ate so much yesterday, but it's just made me hungry today. It always makes you hungry. We've discussed this before, yeah. but I'm so hungry. Yeah. Even though I had leftovers for breakfast. <laughs> I had like sausages, I didn't even say it. Sausages, Thai curry leftovers, and the spare steamed bun from dinner. I just started unpacking this and I thought some of you might be interested in the essentials I brought with me, food-wise. I always do this because it just saves you having to buy loads of stuff. We brought oats with us, of course. So they're gonna go right there. We bought some bread because we didn't want that to go off. And I just plopped some milk in the fridge and Alex has a bottle of wine, so it's always handy to bring that, obviously. And there's also some bacon left over from Alex's birthday. I also brought my decaf Earl Grey because they never have this. Of course, they would have normal tea, not this crazy specific tea. And I also put some peppermint tea in there. For the evening, we have some crisps that I got Alex, some bananas. I always like to bring some sort of fruit with me so that we just have some. And then otherwise, I have all of these uh, date brownies and little bliss balls that I do have a recipe for because I made them this week and there's loads left over. And they're a great snack. We also got peanut butter for the oats, maple syrup, because it just saves us having to buy a whole jar of maple syrup and a whole thing of peanut butter. And it means we just have our breakfast ready to go. And then Alex also has some Oreos that he got. And then I also got some shopping bags because if we go shopping, we have the bags ready and they're, they're all in there. So top tip, if you're ever going away, bring essentials with us, with us, with you. Um, I often also bring my spice tin with me and maybe some rice, but this time I thought we were gonna be eating out in the evening, so I didn't need it. But if I go away for a week somewhere in England, in the UK, I'll bring like some spices with me because often on holiday cottages, they don't have, yeah, for example, they have some stuff in here. Oh, they've got some pasta and stuff, but they don't have um, any spices. From my parents owning a holiday let, you tend to just kind of leave the essentials, like salt and pepper and maybe a few condiments, but, um, oh, I should have brought ketchup, damn it. Um, but you don't really you know, you want to leave loads of food there because that's a bit unsustainable. But yeah, I think I'm going to have some of these right now because I'm really hungry. <laughs> so I totally forgot that we have the cake to eat. So I'm going to put the kettle on and we can have a slice of cake. Ooh. Nearly forgot. Cake forks. <laughs> well, isn't this the dream? Slice of cake. Not just a slice of birthday. A slice of cake, but a slice of birthday cake. Mmm. Boy, oh boy. Ah. 
Afternoon tea. Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, you're right. I just want to sleep. Yeah. If we had brought ketchup, we could have bacon butties and just stay here. But we don't have ketchup. So pretty. But you can go on that slide, Alex. So we've enjoyed our nice, refreshing cup of tea and cake, and now we're going to go to Rye, which is the local town or village. It's where rye is bread was invented. Maybe it is. You never know. Um, um, but there's a really yeah, so beautiful street in in, um, in Rye, which I want to get a picture of, and um, we're going to go to a place called the Fig Cafe for lunch. How cute is this? Look at the floor. Isn't it cute? It's all right, Maddie. Tell us about the history of rye. <laughs> well, rye was where rye bread came from. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if that's true, so please don't take us being serious. No, it is true now. It's true in the world of Alex and Maddie. It's a very old town. Yeah, it's like. so cool. Look at the floor. Well, look, you can see all the thingies. This is the place we're going to. What think? Can we just pay attention to how adorable this is? Like, look. This little place is so cute. And the people were really nice, the food was great, it's really windy. And Alex found his new dream dog. Oh yeah. It Did was a black see? fluffy willow. What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. <laughs> that is amazing. It's a cool. pink, it's a quartz salt lamp. Oh my gosh, if I had loads of money, I'd definitely buy that. Oh my gosh, this. It's like chocolate. Look how satisfying that is. Look at all the salt lamps, they're huge. Wow, because we've got like one maybe about this big. Yeah. Maybe we've got two of these. Well, I mean, I'm not a full blown crystal lover, but I think they're pretty. But that is very nice. Do you believe in crystal skulls? Can everyone in the comments let us know about crystals, what you know about them? Give us some information, I'd love to know. Do you believe in crystal skulls? <laughs> Picked up a nice little souvenir of our trip. That piece of rose quartz. So whenever we look at it, we can remember this little trip to Rye. Tell me you believe in crystal skulls. Oh, uh, what is that? <laughs> Literally, I'm standing here considering if we can go to this. But look, what? <laughs> it's like a school reunion. It looks but so good. everyone's invited. It's not a school reunion, it's just that Rydell High is in Greece. Oh, yeah. okay, I didn't get that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Rydell High, that's how she says it. is so cool I feel like for anyone who's American watching which I know is a lot of you guys this is just so old I think it said first house up there which is I guess I don't know either is it the oldest house or maybe just the first house on the street but like this the mermaid yeah, built 1420 rebuilt. does anyone live in them or well, they just must do. do you want to go for... oh my god look, they have a vegetarian menu <laughs> I've seen some old places before, but this is very old. This door is older than the entire United States. How do you know that? It's a joke. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? That was a husky laugh. So oh, cute. Little balls. I love those balls. I love balls. <laughs> The pigeons love it here. It's just, and also online, when you look at photos, if you search Rye, England, this street comes up in the photos, yeah. and that uh, pub there, where is it? Know, there, yeah. you can see it's got like twine and, you know. Great in the summer. In the summer, it's covered in green, um, and a lot of this street is, which I think would be so beautiful, which is good to know, it's not very far away from where we live, so. And like, it's more like this, obviously ivy is evergreen. Beautiful, ah. isn't it? It's really nice. And then it turns back into modern flats at the bottom. Yeah. 
quite weird. I like that it's so peaceful down here as well. Yeah. There are actually houses and streets kind of like this in Exeter, but there's not a whole street though in Exeter. There's only ever like um, the odd building, but some of the buildings are like that in Exeter. They're like almost falling over. Huh. You know, they're like leaning outwards. Like a haunted house. Yeah, and it's crazy. There's so many places like that. Um, Exeter is another great place to visit in the UK because they have a really beautiful cathedral and that's um, like the closest kind of like big city to, in, to Cornwall like Plymouth is a city but it's not very nice wouldn't bother visiting there if you come into England <laughs> but Exeter is a very beautiful yeah. city nice. um, to visit if you're in the south of England southwest not sure why I'm talking about Exeter when I'm in Rye but <laughs> people like to hear People are Maybe. interested in uh, places to visit in England. Yeah, yeah, true. I definitely recommend Rye as a place to visit. Especially because it's near Hastings, and I wonder what Hastings is like, because I've heard about Hastings, but not so much Rye. So Hastings was, must be really nice. So Alex is super annoying, and he said, let's go back to the Mermaid Inn all the way up the top of this hill. Yeah. I'm joking, I actually suggested it. When I think about it, I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't visit such an old pub. Yeah, very true. My dad would be like, why the hell aren't you going <laughs> in that pub? Call for the night porter, do you reckon it does anything? Yes, so don't do it. <laughs> it's a big door. Look. I feel like this place is haunted. Mm. It feels haunted like Jamaica Inn, doesn't it? The Jamaica Inn. Oh wait, private residence only. Mm. I like it. This is so cool. This is actually like old art. Don't touch it. No way. I can't imagine it is. It has to be. These aren't, obviously. Yeah, but these look old, but these look new. It looks like a new material underneath, doesn't it? Yeah. No, they're, yeah, no, they're, they're new. Have you ever seen a fire like that? Wow. Birthday. <laughs> Why are you sitting like this? Do what you just did. <laughs> we snuck upstairs even though it said private residence only. This lot reminds me of Poldark. This little stairs. Slopes, like, like I'm falling down. Yeah, look, so cute. This little rocking horse. And look out there. Tee -hee. I want to see what the rooms look like inside. <gasps> look at this corridor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wouldn't you love to see what the rooms look like? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna look online, yeah? Okay, that was a fun little adventure. I think we're gonna go home now. So we just got these crisps because they were local crisps, Kent crisps, smoked chipotle chili. And on the back they say suitable for vegans. And they are so good, aren't they? Mm. They taste like the um, Paprika Max crisps. They do, but better. But better? Oh my gosh, if you ever see these, apart from the fact that they're local, if you're in England, but oh my god, they're so good. No, the fire has gone out. Can we revitalise you? <gasps> oh dear. Let's put a big log on. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I do kind of. I used to do this when I was little, but I've, t I've kind of forgotten. There's a lot of dust. Well, that light itself. <laughs> we got the fire going, and now we're going out. Come along, you. We're late. Oh, yeah. Look at that pile. That's so generous. Look at these pots. They give gigantic portion sizes, just like they do in Thailand. This is not like an English Thai, is it? No, it's like very it authentic. really feels authentic. This is what they would give you when we were away. Like, massive portions. So good. You know what time it is. Oh, it smells good. Coming along nicely. Maddie's come to get jealous. I don't really like baths, and Alex put this stuff from Aldi in it, and I don't really want to put this in my skin. Sucks to be you. I'm going to shower and then get into bed in my dressing gown with my <laughs> tea and my hot water bottle and watch YouTube videos. Because Are you that's not going to have your robe 
Oh my god, yeah, there's one in my bed, my bathroom. Yeah. I'll put that on, yeah, and dry okay. it off. And get out of myself. here. Good night. Get out of here. Good night. It's just you, me, and the bath now. I'm gonna say good night before I strip off any further. Have a good one. Take care of yourself.